leave today a hardcore rockin' band with a front woman. Yeah, they talk about how they were on tour with Stain and Taproot and how they pray before every show. Stay right there. The revolution starts now. Welcome to The Revolution, a show of killer music and razor sharp truth. I'm George. And I'm Kat. My secret desire is to scream like a rocker, and I met a young woman that actually has the God-given pipes to do that. We've got Flyleaf on the show today. But first, here's some awesome music. We met up with Flyleaf in Nashville, and the front woman, Lacey, man, she's got some Pipe, she can scream, she's my girl. They sat down with us and talked about their touring opportunities. They've been on tour with POD and Stained and Taproot, some really hardcore bands. They also minister at bars. She said they pray before every single show that they do. I mean, this group is very hardcore for the Lord, They're very honest. Here is Lacey talking about some of the issues that she has dealt with and what this generation has to deal with today. Here's Flyleaf. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't really make sense that we get to go, we got to go on all those tours, except that you know, God bless us. So, so that's some really great people working for us too, and God bless us with those. Too, yeah, we have sure. great people. We have great label, great management. You know, great everything. It's been we've been very fortunate. You know, God's really had His hand on it. Yeah, we we, we we'll, we'll have prayer time and we'll no, so. We don't pray over the audience, like in front of them. <laughs> we pray for the audience. They already yeah. see them. Yeah. Like, totally, people are, are really being encouraged, you know? Yeah, it's, it's cool when you see when we're in a, a club and then there's Christians there and we pray for the Spirit to fall or, and then, uh, then the Christians will come up and say, I felt the Spirit so strong and, and that's exactly what we, you know, we want to hear because that's what we hope to bring into the bar, you know? Life's intense, you know, like there's a lot of bad things that happen, you know, but it's all about overcoming those things, you know, and finding, you know, like, you know, why, the reasons why things happen, you know, God brings us through things and lets us experience things to, to teach us, you know, and, and to, for us to um, be able to teach others and for others to be able to relate and things like that. And so, like, you know, our songs are, are about that, you know, they're, they're about overcoming these, you know, these, what seems to be negative things, but, you know, like, you know, they're, they're to learn from, you know, and to be encouraged by. A lot of it, it's not like we go around screaming, I got the joy in my heart, you know? It's not like that positive message. It's like there's an urgency, and the urgency comes across angry, because sometimes it is angry, and sometimes it comes across as, you know, psychotic, because sometimes extreme things are psychotic, you know, or seem that way, you know? And and that's just, that's just part of it, and we hope that, you know, the music reflects the message of the song. You know, if you just heard it and didn't hear the words, but you would understand the message and you would get the feeling of the story. And a lot of the stories we tell, almost a lot of stories we tell have a lot of sorrow, sorrow and abuse and depression and neglect. And, and just, we, we just, we confront them right there. We confront the, the reality of life. And, you know, and we take it for what it is and we don't sugarcoat it and act like it doesn't happen, you know. We, we are Christians and, and we do have these problems and we do live in the same world as non-Christians. You know, we do live in this, you know, our kids go to the same school in public school and see the same things you see in a bar. You see the same things you, you know, you'd see if you walked into hell, you know. So, so we scream that way because and we have heavy music with a positive message. It does, to me, I don't see any other way to sing to people who are dying without that urgency, you know what I mean? Or to play music for people who live in an extreme society. It needs to be extreme in some way. The most amazing concept I've ever heard of is grace. Um, 
I, that's the that's the thing that forgiveness, whatever, you know, that's the good news to me. The good news is love, you know, and love keeps no record of wrongs. And our God is love, and that's the most phenomenal message I've ever, you know. And I, I've I've learned recently to love to love imperfection a lot because it shines such a big light on God's grace, you know. And if someone has grace for you, that's when you feel their love the most, you know, when they see you for who you are and they love you anyway. Hey, we're Flyleaf and you're watching The Revolution.